Scott Brown with Greenland, another home Well, you can see right here, I've got a prop. Oh, Buddy didn't take a vacation. Money said, no, as a matter of fact, uh, a while ago, there's a few more props. Uh -huh. This one's already got the curve uh, done in. I'm trying to get this thing adjusted and build this. This is the prop carving machine. Using the skill saw. It goes back and forth like this. It starts off back here and just starts knocking off one little bit at a time. Up there to the top of the building here, it's probably right up at about 10 foot up, maybe it's not more like about 11 foot up. There's a cable that controls this, this rock like this. You must control it first off. What I do is I start turning and I knock most of the wood out of the way and I just come back and clean it up with this cut side of the thing. It's really nice and smooth. 22 and a half degrees perfect here. And I got about four degrees down here. What I do, I just cut the end off and I'm done. So I got to close it down. Works pretty nice. That's probably about 15 minutes to do each one after I get it all bolted down. But all together, it sure is a whole lot faster. It's three and a half hours. I kind of like it. It puts such a nice smooth angle in it. This cable is okay, I guess, for uh, doing the little four and a half to five foot props. But after that, then I'm going to take my grinding wheel and I'm going to carve them. And let this wheel spin as I put the grinder to it. And turn this wheel into a pulley. So it's something shaped like a pulley. And then on the hinge, I'll have a, uh, a piece of wood that goes up here. And I found out I can carve up to 12 foot, 10 inch prop if I do it blade by blade. Let's start all the way over here. I got this string here set so it doesn't tip all the way back over here. That's just for now. You see, boy, there's a lot of dust. I already cleaned up. I've got two full shopping bags of sawdust. This is just from this one prop. So anybody actually wants to figure out how much actually gets tired off, there you go. Probably send that into the mulch pit. Anyway, I've got it in right here, right over there at the other side, and that is the center of that hinge, the center line of that hinge runs right along one eighth of an inch up from the bottom of the board on this side, which is the curling edge. No matter how or where it goes, it's going to make only one eighth of an inch right here. These little wheels. This hook. I've got two uh, screws right here. Stop it up here at the end. I can pull them out, put them back in, whatever. This is the adjustment for uh, the cable. And all these little wheels that this thing is rolling on came from garage doors. And this is a skill saw, of course. It slides back and forth this way. I can curve about. Uh, I can curve going about like this. Then I knock all that wood out and come back and just go ahead and clean up going nice and slow sideways. Makes it nice and smooth. I like the way it performs. A router would probably be better. I wanted to try it with a steel saw. Anyway, this is all braced up, pretty solid. I'm going to enjoy it. The reason why I've done this, I've got quite a few people asking for a few of my props. And I want to put a few on the ceiling pan wind turbine. So it was basically uh, laying around. A couple of them got warped. One got cracked. So I'm trying to redo the blades. Plus uh, a few other people that want them. And I also need blades for my wind turbine. There ain't no sense putting it up in the air without blades. So. Anyway, I wanted to make something that will carve those and these and probably and make them all exactly the same. I'm going to love it. i got to get a belt and belt sanded so I could either leave this on, knock it off, and then round my tips where the bolts are, or <coughs> just cut them off. But still, I need to be belt sanding the uh, belt so I can knock out the curve on these real fast. So basically, I'm just going to carve a bunch of blanks today for a while. And I hope you like the machine. <laughs> I've been enjoying it pretty much.
when I get this all set up, figure out my, my angle and what point I want to be. Then figure out the angle from here and what point I want to be. Put the wood that high and I'll sit there and just draw me out a nice little curve. That'll work great. This will slide all the way down to here. And if I put that piece of wood on a hinge here and a hinge over here, I can just change them out with a couple bolts real quick. I can keep uh, patterns for many different props. And they'll always come, each model I do will come out exactly the same. I'm still thinking about putting the router in the slide box. That was a complicated little task there. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine rollers on this thing to make it go like that. Just the way that it makes it go down. She travels real nice. I'm quite happy with it. Uh, I'm sure when I get the wood piece on there, it'll do the same. I'll have to probably work on the wood to make sure it stays guided in. One thing I've got to think about is when I dip it back like this, I'm no longer straight up and down from here. It's over here. So, and then the wood, if I hinge it from there, would be coming to the wheel at an angle. So i got a little bit of figuring out to do, but I think I got it. Oh yeah, by the way, this is the back end of one of them uh, scooters. The aluminum scooter thing you can get. That's the scooter wheel. Ah, lots of fun. Mostly aluminum. Anyway, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energy. The next thing you'll see on here is uh, I'll show you part of it in action. I'm Scott Brown, Green Wind and Other Home Energy. Many good things to you and yours. Look at that beautiful twist on them. Mmm, I love it. Uh, while we're at it here anyway, I'll give you a little close-up. I rigged a light on my camera on the LEDs. These are all garage door pins that uh, run up and down the track. This one here, this one here, which is basically, if you look in here, I ground down. Where's my finger? Yeah, if you look in here, I ground down straight across, just curved it, knocked out some wood, set it down, two screws up, up here, and then one here, and the same thing over here on this one. And there's one more down here. This one basically keeps this little gap in here, a little small gap. There we go. There's the gap. If that gap tries to close, that wheel touches. And the same thing over here. This wheel just barely is always touching. And the same thing up at the top. I've got one there, one there, and one more underneath. Plus I've got the one right there on the, on the end, and another one on the end over here. So that makes nine in all. And there's the track that the skill saw slides in. It goes like this. That cable pulls it up. That cable that runs from up there comes over here and pulls it up and changes the angle. Oh, and one more added feature I just did. There we this go. This second curve, actually. I did, uh, I did this with a router playing around. You see I put me an extra slot inside here. Uh, I still had the same problems that I do with this. Uh, the table... If this piece is sitting out too far, the table's resting on it, and then it won't ride back and forth like this. And when you get right up to here, that's the hard spot. So basically, pull a skill saw out. That's why I've got that little slot from here to here. You see the wood's been taken out there. But you still have to have something for it to ride on, so I'll have to leave that in there. I think a total redesign of the table would do me a lot better. But for now, I want to show you how it's working. I'll give you a three-dimensional by going left and right. You see they're not that really that deep. But a lot of places, I completely knocked it out. But I was going back and forth about this fast. Zing, 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 and just moving down. So it's pretty fast and keeps a consistent angle. I'm going to knock this stuff out and show you some more. Okay, I moved the lighting around a little bit. Now you see here's where I've curved off, and here's where it almost touches the table. See, right now, it'll ride nice. All the way down to the end here, I've got to knock this off around the bolt, make the bolt go down a little farther. So I'm going to do that now, get ready, and I'm going to show you how fast this gets curved. A little better view now that we got a little bit better light. I'll put it down low. Doesn't do too bad of a job. Use the light to see how rough or how even it is. Not bad. 
this is not the finished surface. I'm not worried about it. So what you see next is going to be pretty fun. Knock out, I'll get down to the bottom line. You'll see the finish of it. Alright, here we go. 